All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Doc Shell. Welcome to Dr. Test Prep. And thank you so much for caring about your future to learn how to use a Desmos calculator, which is the focus of my video series right now. I've been teaching for over 20 years, and my goal is to help you be the best that you can be so that you can achieve your dreams. Now, right now, we are looking at Khan Academy Unit 8, Lesson 3 operations with polynomials. Con videos are great, but they don't teach you how to use the Desmos calculator yet. So if you haven't watched my four pillars video or the Desmos video or con and Des, you know what I mean, con and me video, watch those two first. Let's go ahead and get started. If you have my book and it's okay if you don't, we're on page 146. The book is just to help you stay organized. You know, we're doing everything in the video. So take good notes, take screenshots, do whatever. But most importantly, open up the Desmos calculator and type along with me. Okay, let's look at number one. Multiply 2y minus 3 times 3y plus 4. This is a perfect example of something that you should be able to do by yourself. But let's pretend it's hard for you. So let me show you what you can do. Remember that in on your test, the questions will get from go from easier to harder. So we're going to do 2y minus 3 and 3y plus 4. Now notice how I get the little symbol. So I have two options. Option one is to put x equals, and then I get the graph. Option two is to just change all these y's to x's. Because usually, so because by default, the Desmos calculator is thinking in terms of y equals, like they assume y equals for us. So um, to make life easy, I'm just going to go back to what I showed you and do x equals. So let's look at letter A. We're going to do um, x equals, and then we just type it in. 6y squared minus y minus 12. And that's the answer, because look at it. It matches. It's the same graph. If I scroll out, the graph is identical. If I put in letter B and have plus y minus 12, Notice how it's very similar, but not the same graph. If I make this a five, not the same graph. Okay, so the correct answer was letter A, where it's the exact same graph. So the, the trick is, is that if you get questions on the PSAT or SAT that use a variable that use Y instead of X, you either type it in and change it to X, or you just put x equals so that the calculator knows what to do. Um, but our answer is letter A. All right, let's look at the next one. It says simplify the following. So we've, we're just going to type it in A's and everything. Minus A minus 4 times 5A minus 7. And if you've been watching my videos, you know we're going to use one of my favorite tools, which is the slider tool. Okay, I notice how our graph isn't centered. We can hit the home button to center it. We really don't need the graph for this. Okay, so the main thing is we just want to move this to anything that's not in the negative 2 to positive 2 range because that will skew our data. So I'm just going to leave it at, well, I was going to leave it at 6.1. Let's leave it at 6. So all of that fun stuff, when we substitute 6 in for A, will be negative 98. So all we do is type in each answer choice. Or A plus 28 Nope, 4a minus 28 is negative 4. We're trying to get to negative 98, so that's not true. Negative 21a plus 28 gives us negative 98. If it was minus 28, we would get negative 154. But we want plus, so that is our answer. I mean, knowing how I told you, the Unit 8 playlist is like the playlist to watch. All right, we're going to do the same thing for number three. I'm going to hit this gear and hit delete all and type all the A's and the B's. Shift six lets you type in the squared function. Minus A, B. Okay, yes, we want the slider tool. Move them to anything you want, just not in that middle range. And then we're going to type in each of our answers. So we've got 7A squared minus 2ab. We're trying to get 338.14. We've got 303.92. So that's not it. So let's look at letter B. I'm going to change the 2 to a 3. And there it is, letter B. I mean, 
this is way easier. I'm just saying using the Desmos calculator. I mean, this one really by hand, you would just notice these are both a squared. So four plus three is seven a squared. Negative two minus one is negative three. Okay. But when you come back to watch our harder video, you'll really understand and value the slider tool. So that's why I'm just using it so much. This is Doc Shell. Again, thank you for caring about yourself to be the best that you can be on the PSAT and SAT. I'll see you in the next video when we do the harder examples for Khan Academy Unit 8 Lesson 3. Love you guys. See you later.